how's everybody doing today? So, uh, it's a little different today. I was, uh, I went into Target looking for the new uh, Master of the Universe Revelation Masterverse Faker that everybody seems to be getting their hands on. My local Target, it, it almost never has anything. I feel like they get the leftovers. I have to go two towns over. But I figured, you know what, I'll drop by my local. And they had some of the other stuff. Uh, they actually had a Masterverse He-Man, I was surprised. Uh, yeah, I was walking out and spotted this guy. Yeah, Fat Thor. I said, oh, Fat Thor, gotta have Fat Thor. So we're gonna open him. And uh, yeah, let's get this done. So, uh, yeah, thanks for sticking with me here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Fat fat Thor. I, I saw him and said, all right, he's cool. I got to get him. He was, a, he was on sale. They had like 15 of them. Uh, Thor, one of my favorite characters. Both, you know, I, I used to read Thor comics all the time. And then, you know, one of my favorites in the uh, MCU, of course. Uh, especially in, uh, you know, in Endgame. I mean, he was just, he just kicked butt in that. I thought it was really great. Oh, it's good artwork here too. Uh, I really wanted the that version of Thor, but I didn't pick him up when he came out. I forgot about him. So yeah, what is it with what is it with my liking of comic book characters that are big, muscly, and blonde? Well, I'm big and blonde, and I don't know if muscly is the right word, but not uh, a <laughs> not put it this way. I don't look like melted ice cream like Fat Thor here. So, uh, yeah, let's get this guy opened up, see what we think. Now, I, I love in the movie, and obviously the movie's been out for a while now. Everybody's seen it. If you haven't, well, that's your problem. Uh, I just love where he's you know, using both Stormbreaker and Mjolnir here. Uh, but yeah, let's get him open, get some first impressions, see what we think. You know, you know, every time I get a new figure in, I always like to share my first impressions with you. And uh, let's see what we get here. So far, the packaging is easy. I like the packaging. Once again, I forgot scissors. So if he's got any elastics on him, that's gonna be a nice. Oh, a lightning effect. That's gonna be fun on uh, him as well as other characters. You know, I definitely see Evil Lynn getting to use these. So that'll be fun. Let's set those aside. Or really Skeletor getting to use those. That'd be cool. That'd be sweet. Let's pop that here. Get rid of that. Okay. And. I'm going to wish I had scissors, aren't I? Yeah, I yeah, always hate when they do this. I understand why they do this. You get to listen to the loud. Yeah, some people edit this out, but this is part of the experience. The smell of the plastic. Uh, yeah, smell that new plastic smell, right? And part of the experience is getting them out of the package. I'm just going to do a that. And, uh, yeah, so what do we think here? Okay, so I'll get his other accessories out in a moment. I feel like I gotta lower this down a little bit. Bear with me here. Going down. Here we go. So, uh, I probably ought to zoom out just a little bit. Try right, you can share in that. Here we go. Get a nice look at the wall outlet over there. So, uh, yeah, overall, He's cool. I mean, again, these these Marvel Legends, they could always use a little more paint apps, but uh, I would have liked him with that. I know why they did the white eyes, because what he does in the in the movie when he's, uh, you know, uh, summoning the lightning, as it were. But, and, you know, cloth capes would be cool, but again, I know why they don't do that, uh, expense-wise. But let's see, you know, overall articulation. Of course, we get standard articulation, right? You get the head up and down. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And got, his, got his shoulders in there. Got the uh, the same types of elbow joints. I forget what they. I know they. Have, I know there's a term for this type of joint. I forget what it is. Uh, same type of elbow joint and knee joint. 
as well, a lot of figures as well as the you know, Masterverse line has that. Oops, stop bumping the camera. And you know, ankle articulation. We got. You know, from, do we have? No, we don't have side to side. We do not have side to side on that. Uh, what else? What else do we want to see? Oh, obviously you can kind of rotate there. It's a little stiff. It's more like a. It it's more like a click and pop than a necessarily a rotation. But that can be good because you can lock it in a certain position. Uh, it's got a big butt. The cape. Cape does not appear to come off very easily. Yeah, I'm not gonna try, I'll probably ruin it. Uh, but yeah, overall, it's got your standard articulation and obviously he's got a little bit of an ab crunch there, but he got no abs, so it's kind of hard to crunch because he's he's melted ice cream Thor, uh, which I think is just one of the best sayings in that movie. Got his, we're look at his cape. So yeah, solid, solid figure. You know, he's not, now they make some really nice ones. Oh, who is it that makes those? I forget the company that makes the the movie uh, you know, action figures from the movies. And you know, you're talking hundred to two hundred dollars per action figure. Love to get some of those. Uh, can't afford it, so not about to. But you know, if anybody wants to you know, just slip me a little cash under the table, I'll, I'll go buy one and review it. So if you guys want to do that, I'm more than happy to do that. Oh, now let's see what we've got in the accessories pile here. The tough part now this table's flat as can be i'm inside because it's raining out today in the great state of new hampshire as it's done a vast majority of this summer you know what that always works if at first you don't succeed lean up against the wall okay so first out Mjolnir. now i would like because i don't have a thor action figure i've got better ray bill better ray thor so I would I would like a Mjolnir that's normal, but again I understand why they did it with this one. I mean it's a cool look, and most people out there probably already have a Thor uh, with a Mjolnir. So they, you know, this is a, a cool way to go about it. Okay, so I'll just get these all out before I go. Oh, the other thing, I, the other articulation I forgot to look at. Which I'll show you right here. Get that out of the way. Uh, you get the hand articulation, right? So you get the, the wrist. So, yeah, so we've got some, so we get some hands on there that are ready for holding things. He's got now, and these look more like, hey, I'm casting lightning at you type thing i'm not going to swap them out right now because always a pain i'm just on a quick break here so but i, I wanted to get this guy open because he's so cool and now to me stormbreaker seems a little small honestly uh a little a little gummy in there right okay i, f I feel like stormbreaker could be bigger i feel like stormbreaker should be bigger it just i don't know I don't know. Uh, you get kind of a translucent thing going on there, which is cool, you know, for the lightning. Uh, but again, let's let's get this in his hand. It just it just doesn't feel as solid as I think it should. Okay, being picky. Uh, Mjolnir, Mjolnir. Uh, yeah, a little gummy there, right? Oh, uh, strap. Again, this is a little translucent, but it's a lot thicker. I was like, but cool. It's cool. You know, I guess if you want the the really good ones, you go out and you spend the hundred bucks for the uh, whatever brand that is that I just can't seem to think of right now. Overall, voila! There you go. Oh, uh, you have your. Fat Thor. Yeah, let me uh, turn some of this light down a little bit. But yeah, overall, I, I like him. He's a Thor figure. Again, I would love some of those movie quality ones. Let's see how he kind of stands up, just kind of reaching over here. Hopefully, I don't pull the camera down. All right, let's see how it compares to. 
last reverse he ran. Uh, he kneels before Master vs. He-Man. Pick him back up there. About the same size, right? Same size. Obviously, most powerful man in the universe is a little bit bigger, a little bit beefier. I feel like it'd be a good fight to watch, right? Uh... I think Thor, Fat Thor might... Well, he wouldn't win. He-Man would win. Unless Thor got in there and got really angry and chopped his head off. But, as we all know, He-Man's doing the kind of the stabby thing these days. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, overall, I like him. He's cool. Uh, I would love one of the... Uh, one of those movie quality, you know, the, the really nice ones. But again, you know, we all have budgets we have to stick to. This guy was on Clarence. There were probably six more on the peg no others the only others were like iron man three figures and i was like i don't i'm good uh <laughs> so yeah i like him let me know what you think in the comments down below again like i said we kind of one off i don't have a lot of marvel action figures just for whatever reason it's just not eh, yeah they're cool but uh yeah not something i feel like i have to have so I would like the Infinity War Thor, uh, you know, the first Infinity War movie, not the Endgame. I would like to pick him up. Uh, I've got better Ray Bill, but really, that you know, that's I'm good as far as Marvel are concerned. Because uh, you know, again, we're mostly a Mo Two page. That's what we do. But yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Give it a like, subscribe. We got a bunch of new subscribers lately. Glad to see it. Thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, come on back. Like I said, you know, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think, what you'd like to see. Uh, it's, again, I'm still toying. You know, maybe once we get some more subscribers, we'll, we'll look at maybe doing a Patreon if you think that's something you guys would be interested in. Just as a way to generate being able to do more, really. Uh, it wouldn't make me any money. It would just go right back into it and uh, bringing in more stuff to open. <laughs> and with that, I'll see you all later. Have a great day.